Welcome to the new reconvert. In the next few weeks, we are going to be rolling out this update for all of our customers. If you have reached the reconvert dashboard and it looks a little different than you are used to, do not worry. In this very short video, I will take you through all of the changes and explain what are the new features you can now use with reconvert. So as you can see, when you first log in to the reconvert dashboard, the first thing you see is the analytics. We've done that because we heard you and you asked to see analytics when you first land on the app. So from now on, you can see your analytics when you first land. Scrolling down, you will see two sections. You will will see the funnels section and this replaced the thank you page section. You used to see the thank you page main template here, the default template, and below that your top thank you pages. This section is still available, it's just a little down here. So in here you can see all of your thank you pages that you have created. Lastly, the well-known activity report which is blank for this store. But you will see here all of your customers' activity, this has not gone anywhere. What are funnels and what do these changes? mean. They mean that from now on, instead of setting thank you pages and triggers, you will set thank you pages as part of funnels. And you can also see this change up here in the menu. From now on, your familiar triggers have gone into the funnels. And let me show you by editing a funnel what it means so you can understand that. This is my default funnel and in the default funnel I can see my triggers and if I click edit I can edit them and these are the same exact triggers that you are already familiar with from the app but now they are inside a funnel. Since this is my default funnel the triggers are blank which means I am showing this for all of my orders but I can play around with that and change them. I'm gonna keep this at all orders. The next step is a thank you page and the reason the next step is a thank you page is because this is an existing store using the previous version of reconvert. We have upgraded it to use the funnels version. And with this upgrade, we basically converted all of your triggers and thank you pages into funnels. Any thank you page that was connected to a trigger is now connected to a funnel with a trigger at the beginning. Any thank you pages that were not connected into triggers and were in a draft status are still draft. You don't need to worry about it. We didn't publish anything new on your store. When you click the arrow here, you can see some status about your thank you page and you can edit it directly from the funnels page. If you click edit, the thank you page builder has opened up in here. You can see all of the elements that you know and love. This is the conversion monster template. And as you can see, it does look a little bit different. We've upgraded the look and feel to feel more modern and to fit with the new Shopify design. You have your left area and the right area, but the general settings section has moved down here for your comfort. So you can edit everything full here if you want. You can also edit it on the full page builder, just like in the previous version. Do not worry, but we wanted to make it easy for you. I'm going to exit this. In this case, we only have a trigger and a thank you page, which is nice. But what if I want to show some upsells before the thank you page? These are the new features with reconvert. You can now show post purchase upsells in your post purchase funnels between the checkout and the thank you page. And these are one click upsells. I'm not going to go to in depth on that because we have full videos talking about it and explaining it. I just want to show you how you convert your existing reconvert into uh, post-purchase upsell funnels. So what I need to do is delete the thank you page. Don't worry, this doesn't delete the thank you page template. It only disconnects it from the funnel. So I'm going to delete this and now I have two options. I can add an upsell or add a thank you page. I'm going to go ahead and add an upsell and I can create a new offer. Once you have some offers here, you will be able to choose from the drop. Down. And now we've opened up a window that looks very similar to the page builder, but this is actually the offer builder. This is a full page offer that your customers will see once they completed their purchase. And if they click the pay now, they will automatically be redirected either to the next offer or to the thank you page. And this will be added to their order with one single click. No need to re-enter their credit card details, no need to do anything other than just click pay now. And if this looks familiar, this is because the post-purchase offers are basically a product upsell in full page format. 
you can edit it. And as you can see, we also have some new changes to the layout of the product upsell widget. And you can click the help video up here, which will take you through all of these. But generally, you can give it a title. You can decide where the title is going to be shown up, above or below the offer. You can select product options. None of this has changed. The product options section is exactly as you know it right now. You can edit all of the different layout options and product options. We do have some new layout, extra large, which is this one, and we have the large, which is this one. And this one you should already be familiar with because this is what you will see on your thank you page. This is also what customers will see on mobile, even if you choose the extra large because it's not really mobile optimized. Next, we have the discount. Again, no major changes here. You can set up a discount so your customers can see it and you have the timer exactly like the timer you already have. Now I can give it a name. Let's just call it offer one and I can save it. And now, as you can see, I have some more options. So I have the first offer. Now what do I want to do? If the customer declines, I can add a downsell. And if he accepts, I can add an upsell. Or I can go directly to the thank you page. It's really up to you. I'm going to add a downsell. And just to save time, I'm going to use the same offer. As you can see in the name, this basically creates a copy of the offer. So I can edit this and it will not affect the first offer I created. I will do the same thing for the upsell. And now I can add thank you pages at the end of each of these. So I can go ahead and just use the conversion monster template that I already have in my store. Lastly, we have the fallback thank you page. The fallback thank you page means that if the customer actually reached this funnel, this is the funnel that his order fits into, but the payment provider that he paid with does not support post-purchase upsells, which could happen. Shopify don't support yet all of the payment providers for these options, for these upsells, but they are slowly adding in some more. You can set up a fallback template. That means that once they reach the funnel, they will automatically see this thank you page. And again, I'm going to choose the conversion monster. And now, as you can see, instead of just a trigger and a thank you page, I have an entire post purchase funnel. I can save this and this is my default funnel. So from now on, anyone who reaches the default funnel will see all of these post purchase offers. And by total, a person will see up to two offers before being redirected to the thank you page. He will see the first offer and then if he accepts, he will see the upsell before being redirected to the thank you page. Or if he declines, he will see the downsell before being redirected to the thank you page. So after editing my first funnel, I can also go into the funnel that is not the default one and edit that. Let's say you have a trigger for a specific product. You can see in here I have a specific product trigger. First thing I can do just to make it easy for myself is actually edit the funnel name so I can know what this is about and distinguish between the funnels. And then I have the thank you page connected here. I can do the same process here. Delete this and start creating post purchase upsell. I'm going to just use the templates that I've already created again. And let's say in this case, I don't want to give him too many upsells. I'm just going to go ahead and add thank you pages directly after this offer. And I'm also going to set up my conversion monster fallback. Save this and going back to the dashboard. I now have these two funnels with one thank you page. Of course, you can add as many thank you pages as you want. This hasn't changed. If I click create a new template, I do have a new look and feel here, but you can either use an empty template or use the conversion monster. It will open up the template builder for the thank you page. Before we wrap this up, I just want to show you one last thing. If you want to create a new funnel, we also have a template for the funnels. All you have to do is click create a new funnel and we have either an empty funnel, which allows you to edit it on your own or a conversion monster funnel. When I click that, I can actually read here exactly what discounts the customers are going to get and what the settings are. This funnel is built out of two upsells, a downsell and the conversion monster thank you page. Now, the neat thing about that is if you want you can enable it in one single click and just give it whatever discount percentage you want let's say the maximum amount of discount you are willing to give is 15 percent you can just click add it will add the funnel with everything that we write here 
You can also do the same thing now on the Thank You Page Builder. So if I click a Thank You Page template, I can choose a Conversion Monster. And from now on, Conversion Monster will not include our own discounts. It will include your discount. So you can put here whatever percentage you are willing to give, and we will divide it according to this division in the widgets. Of course, you can edit everything later, but this is just a way to quickly get started and add whatever funnel or thank you page you want to add. I know this is a big change, but this big change is here to actually allow you to do a lot of big things with the app. From now on, you can do an entire funnel and not just a thank you page. You can really maximize your post-purchase offers, your post-purchase funnel, and just get great results by upselling to your customers. If you have any questions, as per usual, our support team is ready and looking forward to help you out setting everything up. You don't have to do anything with this change. You can just let it sit as it is with just thank you pages. But I would recommend going through your funnels and adding post-purchase offers so you can really maximize it and get customers to convert even more. I hope you enjoyed this change. We are looking forward to seeing your results and hearing your feedback. Let us know what you think, what you like, and what we could do better.